All right, I'll give this a shot. Hopefully it's not going to get too herky-jerky. Yeah, I just decided, you know what, I'm going to try and give this a go, and I'm going to do it in a way that I normally wouldn't uh, do things, which is usually I would, like, go through and read the rules and whatnot. And I was like, no, no, let's just put the counters down and, and go from there. And I'm amazed, actually, how quickly I'm not, I haven't even done a turn yet, and I'm luck, glad that I picked, um, as you can see here, it's a tactical combat game from SPI from way back when I picked this up last year at Can Games and it seems like I p grabbed a half decent uh, scenario in the sense that I don't have to worry about a lot of special rules such as improved positions there's no cavalry I do have some dismounted cavalry for the Germans but um, they can't remount uh, I don't uh, those type of things I don't have to worry about reserves um, seems to be a low counter uh, um, density and whatnot. So, anyways, the scenario I decided to just snag. Actually, I was going to grab. I uh, was going to do the tango one here, and then I saw this one over here, and I was like, "Oh, let's give this a shot." I think there's actually even less uh, counters. So it's the Allied attack on me, and I don't know anything about it. So I was like, "Oh, cool." On the Prince uh, Prince Heinrich Berg uh, Sing Tao, China, October thirty first, nineteen fourteen. And while fighting raged in France, the Allies occupied the German colonial empire. Sing, sing, uh, occupied the German colonial empire. Sorry, I didn't see the period there. Sing Tao, the German colony in China, was besieged by Allied troops from Japan and Britain. On October 31st, the Second South Wales Borderers and Second Black Watch, supported by the Hong Kong Artillery Battery, Along with the 28th Regiment of the Imperial Japanese Army, which was trained and equipped in much the same manner as the French, and thusly French units are used to represent them, attacked the French, the Prince Heinrichburg, a hill which was the keystone of the colony's defense. It was defended by German regulars and German and Austro-Hungarian Marines. The hill was taken after a bitter fight in which Japan suffered almost 50% of her World War I combat losses. Sing Tao fell soon afterwards. Interesting. Uh, so the, the, the victory conditions, I'll pop on and over. And here's the little bit of a kicker I was when I was reading about, because one of these things I'm known, uh, I've went through the rules relatively quickly, because uh, I'm, uh, I'm just about to do some movement. And I'm going to also, this uh, video is certainly going to be, um, uh, or it's going to be like a playlist thing, because I'm going to hit pause and have to do another video. But I wanted to show you. So, and it's as you can see, it's like a generic map that they're using for um, all the scenarios and whatnot. And they've labeled off, um, uh, you know, what uh, woods are. So it'd be like Woody if you had to do it, and Hill Forty, and so on and so forth. Um, so there's Japanese and British troops. The darker green are the uh, Japanese troops, and the lighter green are the um, British troops. And I'll wander on over here because it was the Germans and Austro-Hungarians that had to set up first. Uh, and then the, uh, uh, the Japanese and the British are going to move first. So, and I'm just, I don't know much about what's going on here. So it's interesting to be in the tactical land. I will say uh, that the, so the black units are the Austro-Hungarian units. And the two artillery pieces here... Um, field guns, uh, once they were in place, uh, once I deployed them, uh, they can't move. They're considered, um, they were part of uh, some naval guns and whatnot. So I put them, I put one in the woods because they got good defensive features. I'll go over the rules at a, a little bit later, but uh, it seems like uh, uh, the, the, uh, your unit takes on the defensive capabilities of the terrain. I'll go, quickly go over the counter uh, count or whatever. So the thing on the top left is your uh, attack capability. The thing on the right is your range. Um, that thing at the bottom here, bottom left, that small number, if you can see it, sorry, is uh, the stacking. And uh, units can do stacking of eight. So you, if, for the most part, it seems to be um, uh, two units you can pop in. And the three on the other side is uh, your movement factor. Uh, roads are movement cut cuts your movement factor in half, uh, and and so that's why I've got a lot of my guys on the uh, on the roads to start, see if we can start nail, uh, grabbing some good uh, defensible terrain. What else can I say? Uh, yes, and uh, for the movement factors, it's uh, basically 
I think infantry needs two movement un uh, points left to be able to attack and uh, uh, move and attack in the same turn. Uh, if you use, if you only got one left, um, you're not going to be able to um, attack. Uh, I, I, and there's another thing I'm going to have to learn, which is uh, interdict. That seems fascinating. I'm going to have to find that out. I think the British and the Japanese will be able to, if they get to a certain spot, will be able to start uh, getting ready to interdict. Um, anyways, I'll tell you about their strategy in a bit. So the only other thing is that machine guns and artillery, and, uh, artillery pieces cannot move and uh, shoot at the same time in the same turn unless they're French artillery pieces or machine gun units. I'll have to take a look if it's one or the other. Regardless, the way I'm looking at it um, is if the Japanese, therefore, are like French, um, I'm considering them, because uh, that's what the rule, it just said, it, they're essentially like the French. I'm like, okay, fine, that uh, they're uh, going to be able to uh, shoot and move it at the same, in the same turn. So what have I done here? I've popped uh, the uh, German dismounted uh, infantry over here with some, uh, also some uh, German infantry. We stacked them up into a column on the road and it's going to start trying to t see if we can take the uh, take the uh, those woods uh, yet again I have to remind myself that it, we're the on the defense uh, the victory conditions for the allies and I think it's pretty m monstrous for the Japanese and British is they have to get five units on the hill at, in uh, within 15 turns and, uh, and that's it on the hill not just the slopes there like they got to get in on the crest of the hill and one of them has to be a field gun. So I was like, holy jeez. Uh, so like I said, I've got a machine, I've put the machine gun unit, uh, the German, they've only got one machine gun unit there with uh, one of the uh, Austrian uh, naval uh, field guns. I've got some uh, infantry here out in the open and not stacked because I don't know where, uh, I don't want to start stacking out in the open and uh, scared that the British and Japanese are going to nail uh, na nailing both at once and also the other thing is combat is simultaneous in this game and then yet again I've got some more infantry in column on the road to see if we can start uh, we can take this town as quickly as possible I'm assuming uh, it's got wicked defensive uh, capabilities yep uh, defense strength of eight so let's wander and over to the um, British and Japanese and I'll tell you what they're uh, what I've decided to do with them as you can see uh, with the British I've got them uh, more or less uh, all on the road again, and we're going to start to try to move up. That's their, their objective, is to go ac across this right flank and just uh, go across the road and start going from wood to wood and uh, see if they can start pushing up that way. I've got a smaller Japanese force, and I've kind of like, uh, they've, got a machine gun, they've got a machine gun unit and an artillery unit as well. And I've got them on, on the hill here. Uh, oh yeah, that was the other thing about the special rules here for this game is that due to fog or something like that, all artillery is restricted is down to 15 uh, hexes. So even if they've got like a like for example that artillery piece here has got a range of 25. Well, no, it's down to 15 just due to poor visibility. So we're going to try to, uh, I'm not going to push out too quickly with these guys. I want to see how the Germans uh, and Austro-Hungarians react. Um, well, obviously, I'm going to go to the woods here. Uh, but uh, uh, we'll see how it goes. I want to see how they get, we get to move first. And then uh, the other thing I did with, uh, with the Japanese is I've got this long column here. And I'm going to, uh, because of half movement, we're going to move like a maniac. I understand that I can't, like, yet again... Uh, for effective, for effectively, oh my gosh, maybe I can get these guys out and uh, do some uh, inter, interdicting fire. Hey, that's an idea. Okay, okay. And that way they can delay them out because I have to start pinning people. And then I can, oh gosh, I sound like dad versus son. He's so tactical in, the, in many of his games. So it's kind of neat. I've heard pinning so many bloody times. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to try to go around there and swing on over. That's what we're doing. All right, and we'll see how this goes. Okay, and this is, like I said, the first video, hopefully, of many, which means I'd actually finish a game. Ha! Huh.